Good evening, church. Um, how's everyone doing today? Good? I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. It's very hot, very nice, very nice. <laughs> um, the title of my message is Stand Fast in the Faith. And you can find it in 1 Corinthians, verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. And it says, Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. Let us bow our heads for a quick word of prayer. Dear gracious Holy Father, I stand before you to give your message to your people. I ask you to please speak through me, guide me and help me, and help each and every one online, whether online or in person, understands the message that has been given to them. I need just for God be glory forever. Amen. Finishing his first letter, letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul recommended for the first Christians to be brave and to stand fast in the faith. I think those exhortations are mostly for us today, who's living in the, in the last days of this world. In a time where we, we fall for everything, when we hardly can differentiate between those who serve the Lord and those who don't serve him. We need to take a stand and we need to stand firm in the faith. When we don't, the apostle, the apostle says in Romans 2 verse 24, said, it says, for the name of God is, is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. Because we give a false testimony of God. We stop being God's ambassadors to do the work of the devil. Sister White wrote in education, the greatest want of the world is the want of men. Men who will not be bought or sold. Men who in their inmost souls are true and honest. Men who do not fear the call of sin by its right name. Men who conscience is true to the duty as a needle to the pole. Men who will stand for right through the through the heavens and fall. The apostles were preaching the word of God, but God arrested for just doing so. And they, they were forbidden to preach in the name of Jesus. We could find this in Acts 5, verse 27 to 29. And when, he, and when they had brought them, they had sent them before the council. And the highest priest asked them, saying, did we not strictly command you not to teach in his name? And look, you have filled Jerusalem with his doctrine and, inten and you intend to bring this man's blood on us? But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. See, they stood firm in prosecution. They stood firm in their temptation. They stood firm when they faced peer pressure. They stood firm in, in good times. We need to follow in their footsteps. We need to be more like them. We need to draw our strength from the Lord, praying, singing, reading the Bible, and preaching the gospel of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, let's watch. Let's stand fast in the faith. Let's be brave and strong in the name of the Lord. Remember this song. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you over evil victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. 
There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. We need to stand because our Lord Jesus made the provisions for us. To the disciples, he said, you will receive power. Let's read in, ver in, Acts verse, in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witness unto both in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem and in, Judea, in Judea and in Samaria. Samaria oh my gosh. <laughs> and unto... Amen. <laughs> you remember the Apostle Peter. By his own strength, he couldn't stand. When, he, when they asked him if he knew Jesus, he said, I don't know him. In Matthew 26, verses 69 to 72, it says, Now Peter sat outside the courtyard, and a servant girl came, up to, came to him, saying, You also were with Jesus of Galilee? But he denied, he denied before them and said, I do not know what or who you are saying. And, and when he gone out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, this fellow also was with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied with an oath saying, I do not know the man. But see, when the Holy Spirit came unto Peter, it gave him the power to stand for his faith. He wasn't the same person that denied the Savior. When, when they asked Peter to stop preaching in the name of Jesus, he said in answer to them in Acts 4 verse 12, nor is the salvation in any other for there is no other under the heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And the Bible says, 13, Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, they perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men. They marveled and they realized that they have been with Jesus. They've been standing with Jesus. The time will come when you'll be threatened because you're a Seventh-day Adventist, because you observe the, ten, the God's commandments, because you preach the faith of Jesus. Be strong. Stand fast in the name of the Lord. Stand firm in the faith and the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless each and every one of you.